In Thomas the Tank Engine Season 1, there is an unknown engine, or at least mostly unknown. Now, this engine never had a real public appearance, but there was little tiny bits. This engine was used to make the railway seem busy, which is a real smart thing to do. Now, this engine did not have a face, but it does have a pretty small community of fans around it. This engine was called the Marklin engine. This engine has been given the name Marklin because of the model, the Marklin engine. I mean, it makes sense, makes total sense. And this has been a neat little Easter egg. So he never appeared in the Railway series. And he really never had a big appearance in the TV series either. He was just one of those background characters. Several other people online have decided to list these episodes or make videos off of these episodes on social media. Now today, I have decided to make my own version of this setup. Now this isn't really completely new news, but... It is on my channel, and this is my first style of, like, showing off this. So I do hope you enjoy this. My name is Gans Post, and let's dive into the video. Thomas the Tank Engine. This is the Mark Langen's first appearance on screen. This picture, I'm guessing, was used in, like, a news report or something, but this is a deleted scene from Tenders and Turntables. I have no clue how someone found this, but... It is pretty cool to see that the Mark engine is like right there in the background. You can barely see it, and it doesn't help that it's in black and white either. But it still is pretty cool to me that you can see the Mark engine like in the full, like in the flesh, I guess. Sports of engines. Huh? Maybe they weren't so focused at using the books for adaptations of the TV series, they could have made Mark Langen an actual character. I think that would have been kind of cool, but it's also cool the way that they put him in now. All kinds of ships use the harp. So apparently a lot of people thought this appearance was James, but as you can see by the lamp setup, it is definitely not James. It is the Mark Langen. He has as clear as the moonlight, he is right there, chuffing by, by Gordon in the ditch. This next part might get a little bit confusing. So, there's been a theory going around for years that the Mark Langen was used in this other series that was produced by Dave Midden, like the early season Thompson Friends, and that is called Tugs. And you don't know what Tugs is, it's, um, well, this is, it's like Thomas and Friends, but boats but its own thing in its own world, and it's real cool in my opinion. And there are some scenes from this. That shows an engine named Puffa. <laughs> Sound like a British lad. No, I don't. I'm gonna show these scenes, even though it technically isn't Thomas and Friends, it still is like a Marklin engine, so I'm gonna show it anyways. <laughs> Sunshine! Puffa is right there on top of that bridge. Um, that's his first appearance. Watch. But he's spreading! And that means Puffa, the dog side will go up! This is a really cool scene. I'm not going to talk for the rest of the Tugs parts because it's not like a really hidden feature for him. But I still think this is a really cool scene for Puffa. <laughs> Uh, I've got to look after Papa. He's a mighty valuable and good friend. I've got to look after your friends, you know. Several bridges span across the canal. The lowest one. Got there. It was signaled through, so there was no way anybody could stop it. to collect wood planks from a camp sawmill. He was a great friend of my Star Tugs. Hey, Puffa! Hi there, Big Mac! How's it going? Right, will do! Yes, I'm on my way! Right now! Ta -da. Oi, Puffa, you in- Attention, sunshine! Well, 
Straight up at the light. Good luck, our kid. You'll need it. He's faster than the current will carry the logs. Oi, puff up. Warn up town that the log dam is broken. The logs are heading their way. It's an emergency. Will do, but what can they do? Right, on the way, Jensen's. A race against time. Anything. Uptown, whistling ahead to clear the signals. The tug set off down. Even so, he eventually drew level and started to overtake them. Papa got ahead just before he reached Uptown Pier and began putting warnings of the disaster about to hit. The keeper continued whistling urgently as he came into Uptown Dock. He was sacked. Heavens! In this current, they'll wreck the whole keyside on us. Listen to Thomas and friends. They didn't have to use Markland and GM work because they already had other engines to pull rolling stock. So they used the Markland engine as scrap models. So this one gets confusing. The Sea Tura model um used the Markland engine smoke box, which is the black thing. So it is technically a Markland engine appearance, but it is like a whole new character at the same time. Says we can talk to him soon. Oh. Trevor the traction engine is old-fashioned, but he doesn't care. He knows that he is really useful, like his friend Edward, the blue engine. Pointed. He had bad news. The vicar's been so smoke box, that's the Markham engine. Decapitated. These next scenes, like there isn't an exact model that represents the Markland engine, but they do say that the Markland engine is in these episodes somehow. Alright. I've just noticed the Markland engine's door right there. Now, at the time of editing, I had no clue, but now I've noticed that it's right there. It's right there. Okay. Now, now I'm not going to talk now, for the rest of it. Some skill at these play not near it over them. A small engine with a tall funnel stood sad and alone in the shadowy side. Excuse me, said Rusty. Do you like blue? And you're soon going to see lots of them because I'm getting you out of here. Firemen. So off they set, past the bleep. Oliver had been to the works to be mended. Now Oliver was as good as new, but he was still worried about cars. I'd rather not use them, he puffed to himself. Blue bells forever! Mine had been worked by the little engines, and Thomas and Percy had to take some empty freight cars to the scrap yards. Then the Mark Landry was never seen again. Until they added him into movies. They added him into calling all engines, but I cannot find a model that resembles him, so here's the scene. Then to the yard, they saw something that was very, very frightening. It was Diesel 10. Diesel 10 was big and strong, and he had a crunching, crushing claw. Thomas and Percy watched the giant, and they raced away. His very last appearance as of April 4th, 2020, is in Blue Mountain Mystery as a nice, like, I guess, um, goodbye to him or something. I don't know. Good job, Pit Entertainment. Thomas looked for a yellow engine. There were lots of engine parts, but none of them were yellow. That is all the Markland Engines appearances that I could find. Now, I hope you have a good day, and see you post most, everybody. Goodbye.